Let's go to Tawny, who sent us a voicemail earlier this week. My question is about resist the devil and he will flee. Do you talk to him? Do you tell him to leave you alone? Is that borderline praying to the devil? I just need clarification on this. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think that this entails, you know, having a conversation with Satan, although throughout church history, I know that there have been some, you know, pretty interesting stories of people who have done this rebuking the devil. You think of Martin Luther, for example. Uh, but I, I think if we just look at the context here, we get some clarity as to what it looks like to resist the devil. Verse 7 of James chapter 4, submit yourselves, therefore, to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Be wretched and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will exalt you. When we live in sin, unconfessed sin, when we live in pride and in arrogance, um, we are inviting the evil one in. Resisting the devil looks like walking in repentance, looks like humbling ourselves before the Lord. Um, it looks like confessing our sins uh, and turning to Christ. And so and so it's not so much, I think, here that, that James is suggesting that we need to, you know, get into this conversation with Satan. Um, and now, of course, there are instances, again, in the Scripture where, where the evil one was rebuked in the name of the Lord. The Lord rebuke you. But I think for our part, you really want to engage in the spiritual battle. The right way to do it is through prayer is through humbling ourselves before the Lord, is through confessing our sins. Um, and so as you turn to the Lord, as you humble yourself before him, as you seek to draw near to God, and as you do that by going to church, by um, reading the scriptures, by encouraging brothers and sisters in Christ, you are, in effect, resisting the devil. And when we do that, as James promises here, he flees from us. And so may God enable all of us to do that, and God give us the courage and the strength to stand firm, as the Apostle Paul wrote to the Ephesians, resisting the devil. God bless.